Please hit the like button for YouTube algorithm. Please subscribe. Thanks. Walgreens. Bulls say. Strategic partnerships focused on increasing store utilization with clinical partners to localize community health care should be a natural extension in providing coordinated care that will increase stickiness and offset continued reimbursement pressures. The Kroger initiative to improve CPG pricing should be a critical step in enabling Walgreens to increase the performance of the front-end operations. As the largest retail pharmacy with a vast network, Walgreens is able to reach 80% of U.S. consumers, which provides scale and cost advantages. Bears say, The confluence of reimbursement pricing pressure, increasing shift in mix toward 90-day prescriptions and Medicare Part D and specialty drugs, and decline in CPG has negatively impacted profitability in ROIC. Healthcare reform and recent controversy with pricing transparency will likely increase stock volatility and could pose as a fundamental threat. The firm has faced increasing pricing competition from mass merchants and internet retailers for consumer commodity products which has negatively impacted front-end growth and profitability. Analyst ratings. Buy, 5%. Hold, 82%. Sell, 14%. Market cap, 36.83 billion. Average volume, 6.91 million. Dividend yield, 4.36%. CVS Bulls say The health hub concept has the potential to improve returns for all of CVS service lines if it can help patients more easily and cost-effectively manage chronic conditions through early intervention. CVS ownership of the largest national PBM provides it substantial negotiating leverage and cost advantages in claims processing, allowing for best-in-class operating costs per claim. CVS combination with Aetna creates the opportunity to view a patient more holistically by managing both medical and pharmacy benefits, which could lead to revenue and cost synergies for the organization. Bears say, Healthcare reform is likely to be a recurring topic throughout the upcoming 2020 election cycle, which could constrain the stock especially if high-risk scenarios gain traction. The bulk of insurance membership growth over the coming years will likely stem from lower margin government sponsored plans, creating a structural headwind to ensure profitability. Foot traffic at physical retail stores could continue to decline as consumer behavior increasingly favors online retailers. Analyst ratings Buy, 77%. Hold, 23%. Sell, 0%. Market cap, 84.57 billion average volume 7.66 million dividend yield 3.09 percent as always be sure to let me know your thoughts down in the comments be sure to smash that like button thank you so much for tuning in and i will catch you in the next video